What is up, guys? This is Jay here. I'm gonna be today. We're gonna to be talking about some old uh, internet nostalgic things. Uh, but before we get started, I wanted to do a little update. So um, I have some good news, also some bad news. Um, I'm now officially down 14 pounds. So as of this morning, I'm 188 pounds. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Um, now, some of that could be due to um, this week. I had that uh, C19 thing that the uh, that the media seems to be uh, you know talking about a good amount since 2020. So um, you know uh, that's just kind of kept me kept me down this week. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. I'm I gotta say like 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 don't get me wrong. Like it it sucked. I you know had the muscle aches. Um, didn't have a fever, but I definitely had some muscle aches. The weak feeling congestion um you know I'm, I'm coming down from it now um but you know i uh it, it definitely what what sucks is i haven't worked out all week just because like you know you can't really go to the gym like that you just feel really weak you don't want to get other people around you sick so uh i've had to stay out of the gym which uh which sucks which you know um so no progress this week no uh you know uh, unfortunately not at that 300 bench yet still at 290 but uh you know it take it takes time, and you can't push yourself when uh, when you're sick. I I really do think you just need to uh, you just need to rest. But uh, feeling feeling better today, um, and um, you know should be back to uh, making some new videos pretty soon. Um, I did get a chance to make a brake pads video because I that really sucked. My brake pads were just you know I, I let it get to the point where they were basically grinding. Uh, on the one side and destroyed one of my rotors so i had to do a brake job while i was sick and like the bolts were seized and i was you know weak as hell trying trying to get them loose i'm getting the cold sweats while i'm doing it the whole thing kind of sucked but um i did get it i did get a uh i did make a uh video at least on the pads changing portion uh for y'all to uh enjoy um you know and again you know just uh just a quick high level overview because um yeah, you know, this stuff this stuff saves money. Uh, you know, by doing that brake job myself, I probably saved around, you know, four or five hundred dollars easy right there. Um, but yeah, it sucks. The one the one side, I had to uh, replace the rotor just because I'd let it get. It was metal on metal, and it uh it it wrecked up the rotor. But okay, what can you do? Um, just having to do it while while sick was was really the sucky part. But um, you know, things are um. You know, it wasn't the best week, but things are uh, things are things seem to be on the up and up. So I'll be back to uh, probably making some more uh, content soon. Although, uh, well, actually, no, because next week I will be out of town, so probably won't be doing any uploads uh, next week. Um, shit, that means I won't be working out next week either. Oh well. Um, oh well. Well, we'll 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 get there, and I will uh, post updates as uh, as we go. Anyway, for today, we're going to be checking out something from the old school days of the internet, because um, I do think that this stuff is worth highlighting. A lot of us have uh, have seen it already, but hey, maybe I can uh, spark some nostalgia for y'all, and uh, for some of the people who are younger and didn't see this stuff when it was new, maybe highlight something cool. Anyway, let's check out the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. All right, so what we're watching here today is the Ultimate Showdown. This is the 4K remaster. And what this is, is this is a Flash cartoon that came out in, I believe, 2005. I remember watching this when I was a teenager, and it was just the best thing since sliced bread, okay? So if you haven't seen it, just go to YouTube, look up the Ultimate Showdown. There's been, like, countless, like, remasters, remixes, updated versions, but we're looking at a uh, remaster of the original. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at the ultimate showdown. It's got a good beat. Old Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like a <laughs> I love that face. They give the the Godzilla. Godzilla with a bad grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked. Oh, Shaq, Shaq. he was big back then. Shaq Fu. That's such a good reference, cause the uh, "How I Beat Shaq" video from Aaron Carter. That's hilarious. Would Would Lincoln have an AK though? I feel like he'd have like a Smith and Wesson. Who is? Hold on a sec. Who is? Does anybody know? 
If, if you can tell me who that's supposed to be on the left of the screen here, because I is that is this supposed to be Lincoln? Because Lincoln doesn't have that kind of mustache. Like, who is this villain on the left here? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Oh no, Aaron Carter and Shaq. That's an awesome reference. Like Scruff McGruff took a bite out of crime. Jackie Chan was awesome in the 90s. Rumble in the Bronx, such a good movie. Oh, it's Indiana, that's Indiana Jones. Abraham Lincoln would probably be really good at pro vaulting. The Care Bear stare, that's great. Sonic and Mario just like having a little slap fight. R2, D2, and C3PO getting dismantled by Jawas. Angels sang out in an immaculate chorus down from the heavens. Oh, Chuck Norris. I remember this era of the internet when everything was Chuck Norris, all the Chuck Norris jokes. Let's hope that doesn't come back. fell over on the ground, writhing in pain as Batman changed back into Bruce Wayne. But Chuck saw through his clever disguise And he crushed Batman's head in between his thighs Then Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White And Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight And Benita Mussolini and the Blue Meanie And Cowboy Curtis and John B. the Genie Robocop the Terminator, Captain Kirk and Darth Vader No pants, Superman, every single Power Ranger Bill S. Preston and Theodore Logan Spock the Rock, Doc Ock and Hulk Hogan All came out of... So they just fit as like many pop culture references as they could in there. And I mean, I give them credit for like making that all rhyme. That was pretty cool. It's not just me though. Benito Mussolini seems to like stand out in that crowd of uh, largely fictional characters. Well, they had Hulk Hogan in there too, but you know, at least he had his like wrestling persona. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I just found that like bizarre that they put of all people, Benito Mussolini. But anyway, let's continue. Nowhere lightning fast and they kick Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass It was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw With civilians looking on a total law The fire raged on for a century Many lives were claimed but eventually Oh, the who's gonna be the winner? Stood. The rest saw the better Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater I love this, a tear shed for, uh, for those lost You know why this is funny? Because like, and you guys let me know in the in the comments I think was is it true that it was Mr. Rogers or was it Bob Ross or both of them were like uh one of them was a marine sniper I think like it might I, I know Mr. Rogers had a military career I don't know if he was a marine or not uh, I think the same you know Bob Ross the the painting guy the we're just gonna paint a happy little tree right over here um you know and it's funny because they're both like these calm like even keeled uh even keeled dudes but um this I, I this, like nobody saw this uh this ending coming you know you had like every like fictional hero with like superpowers and they make uh mr rogers the winner and a tear shed for those lost i thought that was that was great let's watch the end of this oh no mr rogers So that was the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. I think that this was a Flash cartoon that came out on the website Newgrounds. I know it came out in 2005. I know I watched it when I was a teenager. I know my friend Rich, who's actually been on this stream a couple of times, was the one who showed me this. And we thought this was like the best thing when, you know, when we were teenagers. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's a really good beat. I forget the dude who came up with the beat. It was Neil, Neil something. Um, but it's a really it's a really good uh it's a really good song the creativity was there 
um, can definitely appreciate, you know, all the uh, pop culture references and how they, uh, you know, tied them all together. Like that bit about uh, Aaron Carter was hilarious just because he had that ridiculous, like how I beat Shaq uh, song that I think played on like Nickelodeon, like the early 2000s. But they, uh, you know, adapted that into an awesome joke for this uh, for this thing. Um, so definitely a, a little bit of nostalgia there. Uh, definitely remember watching that when I was a teenager and thinking that that was just uh, was just awesome because it pretty much had like every like you know pop culture uh, you know like uh, like uh, superhero and everything in there so uh, pretty cool uh, pretty cool um, so you guys let me know uh, what you thought of the ultimate showdown and I will see y'all in the next video bye everyone.